Hi everybody, Anthony Loray here again, the head appraiser at the Provident Loan Society. Uh, another segment of Ask Anthony. Today's topic is Valentine's Day, uh, more specifically uh, engagement rings. Uh, it's a hearts and flowers and chocolate day, but also a traditional day to give and receive engagement rings. So for anybody that was lucky enough to receive one from their significant other, a little uh, care and handling tips that I'd like to pass along. Um, the first thing is, this is one of the largest, if not the largest jewelry purchase and in, one of the larger investments you may make in your life. Uh, um, so my suggestion is first is gonna be to, uh, to save, put away any paperwork that you receive with the, when you purchase the ring, receipts, any certificates. Uh, you may need them someday when it's time to either get insurance on the ring, you may need it for identification someday. Hopefully one day you may want to use it because you need to upgrade, you want to upgrade your, your engagement ring. And this will give the other person an idea of what they're, what they're looking at. Um, care of your engagement ring. You know, uh, we're rece you're receiving these, this ring now and it's winter time. So there are gloves and sweaters and coats involved. And most of the diamonds are going to be set in a ring that involves prongs. Uh, putting your arm through the sleeve of a coat or a sweater. Uh, you can tend to snag uh, prongs on the insides of the sleeves or taking off gloves. You may uh, snag the ring or the prongs on, on the gloves, taking them off. So people should be a little bit more conscious of, uh, conscious of the ring itself and where it is when you're, uh, when you're getting dressed or undressed winter time. Uh, a lot of the problems can be solved by just turning your ring upside down and having the shank up and you know, putting it inside your fist when you're doing any of these things. Uh, even even wearing with your gloves, you can wear it upside down if you have to inside the gloves, and it saves a lot of banging around also. Uh, regardless though, your ring, you should take it back to where you purchased it or to your local jeweler, whoever's convenient to you, to have your ring inspected occasionally. Uh, for, the, for the prongs, make sure that nothing's loose, nothing got pulled up, nothing got broken. Uh, they'll also clean it for you at the same time, and they'll do a better job of it than you're gonna do at home. Of course, uh, as I've recommended in the previous blog, a little ammonia and water to swish your ring around in is gonna work better than any kind of soap or toothpaste, which is gonna leave a film. Um, the other thing is, and the, the biggest complaint that I've heard over the years from somebody wearing their engagement ring is that they tend to spin around. They're a little top, it's a top heavy item, and you go to show with somebody your engagement ring and it's like this, and you have to, to spin it around. So uh, people are always coming back and complaining that uh, the, the ring is doing that, it's spinning. Well, you have to understand that uh, you know, the, uh, anatomically, your knuckle is bigger than the back of the finger where the ring sits, and the size of your finger is taken at the knuckle. There are uh, ways to combat this. The simplest way is you can go to a jeweler and we'll put something as simple as a ring guard on there, uh, which is for a few dollars, and you can bend it uh, you know, numerous times uh, bend it down before you put it over the knuckle, bend it back once it's past the knuckle, and it'll keep your ring upright. Uh, barring that, there are uh, other solutions uh, that people have come up with over the years. Uh, shanks, ring shank is the bottom of the ring, that open and close. Your jeweler has specialty tools to measure the back of your finger, and he can suggest one of these items that will open as it goes over your knuckle, and then you can snap it closed once it's, uh, once it's the correct size. Uh, there's a website I'll, I'll uh, recommend to you that's Hoover and Strong. They have their uh, technical bulletins. Uh, you can uh, search one from 2005, which goes over all the various methods that people have used over the years. And you can be a little educated before you go back into your jeweler, and, uh, and he, but he'll make the best suggestions to you. Anyway, if you have any comments or questions, please post them at the bottom of the page in the comment, comment section. Um, we're here to help with Provident Loan Society.